Hey everyone, so tonight I'm doing a review on the Rocket Raccoon from the Guardians of the Galaxy box set. That's the Entertainment Earth exclusive. So I'll go into a quick little 360 of them. And then I'll go ahead and uh, check out the details. Alright, so first I'm going to go ahead and go over the accessories uh, Rocket comes with. So he comes with the same same exact gun from the Build-A-Figure uh, from the Rocket Raccoon Wave. It comes with that. It comes with the Agent Coulson gun, uh, just repainted or redone in a lighter gray plastic with then just blue. I'll do a little quick little comparison for you guys. But see, it's the same exact gun that Coulson came with. It doesn't really bother me. It's just so big that it's hard for him to hold. But so I don't really use this one too much. <laughs> and it comes with this gun. I haven't seen this one used before. It looks newer. Um, you guys can leave a comment if this is a gun that you guys have seen before used in Legends. I, I just don't recognize it. I really like it, though. It's pretty cool. Um, I like the same silver plastic that they've used on the other gun. I like the blue in there. Um, but, yeah, it's just a nice-looking gun. Kind of, you know, it's got good little handles for his hands. And he comes also with Groot and the pot. <laughs> uh, it's the same one from the... Marvel Universe Guardians of the Galaxy box set. Just It looks like it's painted a little darker. Um, I do not have the Marvel Universe one to compare it, but um, I know that is definitely the same one from that set. All right, so getting into Rocket, I think he looks awesome. I really do. I like the head sculpt, um, so I'll go ahead and go over to the head overall. Um, it is a different head sculpt. It does come off very easy, um, but I really like the wider... Um, sorry. Uh, I really like the white paint on the face along with the ears with the black. Um, I do like the facial expression. It's kind of got like a snarl. It looks really cool. I like the red eyes um, and the lighter browns. I just think overall it's, it's you can see his face a lot better. I just think that looks it looks really cool. But it is, but otherwise the back kind of looks the same as the build a figure, but it is a different head sculpt. Uh, I'm going with the rest of the figure. Same exact body from the build a figure, of course, um, but just his... Uh, his, da -da -da, his suit is more of a lighter, like, navy blue, I guess, like I would say. And then I really like how the black, the red goes over the lining of the suit. Same, you know, nice details of the, you know, the etching and the creases, the fabric being stretched out. I really like the red gloves, the little gray uh, buttons right there. His belt is brown, just like Star-Lord, which is nice because it makes them match, of course. Uh, it's got nice silver paint applications on the buttons and... The belt buckle on the back. I really like how the tail turned out. It's like that light brown plastic with the black and the white. I think it's it's very, you know, the white is very uh, bright, so it really, you know, catches your eye. I just think that looks really cool. Like That's how I like about the head. Uh, going to the rest of the figure, um, just has the same bottom half, uh, stretching, nice, you know, fabric stretching right there, more good detail. I really like all the fur on his feet. Uh, doesn't have any of the black stripes on his feet. I don't think the Builder figure does either. Um, but overall, I mean, it's it's a good little figure. It really is cool. So I'll go ahead and go over the articulation. So his head looks up about that high. Pretty good. Looks, ah. But it is on a ball joint with the, yeah, same as the Builder figure. <laughs> so I'll keep repeating myself. Right. Oh, man. It does pop off really easy, as you can tell. But it looks down about that much. And he can kind of wobble his head, look left and right. Ball joints in the shoulders, they move out, forward. He's got a, a single joint at the elbow and also a rotation at the elbow. No um, rotation at the wrist. He does have a rotation at the waist, no ab crunch. All the rest of the figure is stagnant. The tail is on a ball joint, so you can rotate it as you please and rotate it around. But otherwise, um, there is no more articulation, which I, I feel it works well. I feel like if they put articulation here, these joints would wear out loose just because of the way the figure is. And the tail pops off real easy. But um, I'll go ahead and show you the guns. So we've seen this one before. I don't know if you guys want me to redo this one. I'll just do it real quick. But it fits uh, good in his hand. It's kind of nice because if you have the build a figure, um, you can you know have him uh, dual wielding this gun. And then I'll show you this one. This one I just kind of stick it on in. I kind of just rest it up like that. So you can, I just think that looks cool. I wish it had two of these guns. That'd be cool. And then I'll try out the Colson gun. This thing is just massive. Let's see here. Yeah, see, that's that was my problem. The handle is just too long. It just doesn't... And the, yeah. 
It's just way too big. I don't know. I don't I don't like it. <laughs> All right, so I'll go ahead and show you guys how tall Rocket Raccoon is. <laughs> All right, guys, so Rocket Raccoon stands right at just a little over two inches. Um, and then I'll and he falls down. And I'll show you guys him next to the Build-A-Figure one, so you get a little a nice little comparison. There you go. So you can kind of see, I do like the articulated mouth on this one. That's one thing I will say. But let me bring the camera up so we can see nice close-ups. But you can kind of see in the light how this is definitely a darker blue. Um, get this gun out of the way. The difference in the head sculpts. I do like that articulated mouth, I must say. But with them closed off, I just like the red eyes. I, I mean, there's so many goods and bads, you know. Not bads, but, you know, good art, good things about this one, great and good things about this one. You know, it'd be awesome if this one had the articulated mouth. And it'd be awesome if they kind of swapped the paint mat, you know, the paint uh, deco onto this one. But you can kind of just get a nice little comparison to see the difference. But I do, ha I have been using this guy for my uh, display. You can kind of see how it is. He is a darker blue. You can see the tail difference. I definitely would say this guy has more paint detail. And this guy just has that really cool articulated mouth, which looks awesome yelling. But as you can see, the brown belt and black belt. It's cool. This guy matches the SDCC Star Lord. So it's kind of interesting. You can, how they're, you know, they do match with the other guys in the team. But there you go, guys. That's my review on the Racket Raccoon figure from the Guardians of the Galaxy box set. Please leave a comment, hit the like button, and subscribe if you haven't. All right. Thanks, guys. Have a great night. Bye.